everyone, Ronnie Petito with Petito Performance Training, and we're here today to talk to you about rep range. What rep range should you be at for what you want to accomplish? Well, first, before we get into anything, as I just said, what do you want to accomplish? So we're first looking at what is your goal and intention. So these rep ranges, we're gonna talk about what's your goal for each one and what it's good for, who it's good for, and what it can accomplish for you. So. The first one we're gonna talk about is in the 15 plus rep range. So in the 15 plus rep range, what we're good for there is endurance. So when you're doing this rep range, your goal is endurance. Oh, I'm using a lot of colors today, it's kind of weird. Everything's a little different. So a lot of my clients that come to me with this are females. This is where they will start out at the 15 rep range. Now, if you're new to the gym, you're probably starting out in this range as well because this is the best range to get used to what workouts you're good at. And if you're not good to get used to them and also learn where your weights are when you progress to a more 10 to 12 rep range, and we'll talk about that in a second. So, good for beginners. The to tone up. Because as we know, everybody wants to tone up and become more vascular. And even bodybuilders use it sometimes. Everybody's like looking at me like, why bodybuilders? Well, yeah, of course, bodybuilders use hypertrophy to get their muscles bigger and stronger so they can look the part. But they also need to have that vascularity. They need to have each individual muscle showing. And they really need to look good for the competition. So they'll throw in a 15 plus rep range day to get that growth from their muscles. Now they even may, maybe even go higher. That's why we have that plus to it. Maybe even 20 or 25 reps to see how much they can actually show the muscle. So now that everybody has a great understanding of what the, we use the 15 plus rep range for, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what the 10 to 12 rep range is great for. So first and foremost, it's good for hypertrophy. The other side. I don't like that side of the marker. It kind of smears everywhere. You guys can't really see what I'm writing. All right, hypertrophy. What is that? That is the growth of your muscles. And why this is such a favored, very favored exercise for everybody, you know, the 10 and 12 rep range, it's because that this rep range gets a lot of very good results. And why does that happen? Well, tension over time. That's what it is good for, tension over time, and muscle growth. Now, why these two things grow together is because the more tension over time, you get more stimulus provided to your muscles. So the more you're working in that 10 to 12 rep range, and the more you're controlling with your eccentric contraction, whether it's in bicep curls or squats, you're getting more tension over time, therefore producing more muscle growth and that's why this is such a very favorite exercise, the 10 to 12 rep range. It's very good for anybody who wants to build muscle and also any, any athlete who really wants to get a big explosive background and really gain their strength. Now moving on to the six to 10 rep range or the mid range reps in between both hypertrophy and strength. And what this one does, the goal of this, uh, six to 10 rep range is actually to produce both the 10 to 12 rep range results and the one to five rep range results. So we want to get both muscle growth and strength. And this is good if you're trying to start increasing weight on what you did for the hypertrophy sets because not only will you still increase that weight and be able to move up in weight, but you will also still gain muscle size. Now, what would this be good for? Well, a lot of athletes, especially football players, who don't wanna to get too big because they wanna remain fast, but still wanna be very powerful, they'll use this rep range very well because most of the time, in between both, they'll mix up between these kind of reps right here in this rep range because we wanna produce both getting muscle growth and to also incorporate strength. Strength is a big thing for athletes and a big thing for anybody who wants to move up in actual weight and muscle. Because to, in order to get bigger muscle, you have to overload them. So this is how we do it. 
And now we finally get to move on to the power and strength reps. We use the one through five reps for exactly what it's called, strength, power. So the goal, produce and increase your strength and power. Now, who would this be good for? Of course, athletes. Any athlete needs to know how much they can lift because anything that has to do with running, jumping, or athletics, moving side to side, you need to know how strong your body is, how much balance you have, and all that kind of stuff, but really how much strength you have is very important. So you need to understand that. So we do need to get our one rep max every now and then so we can make a good program for all the rest of this stuff. Now, not only is it good, so let's put that down, not only is it good for athletes, because it's very good for athletes, but it's also good for any average gym goer who's going to the gym that wants to increase really how much they lift. So a lot of guys go in the gym, what do guys want to do? They want to go in and see how much they can lift. So we have to actually make a workout program that starts here, gets you used to the workouts, builds up to here, gets your muscle size going, and then we get down to this range so we can incorporate and see how much we're actually lifting. And you're probably here, if you're just a regular gym goer or just started, you're probably in this range you're probably lifting the most you've ever lifted when you get there. And then it's gonna be even more crazy for you when you get into this workout because then you're gonna start doing your one rep maxes. You're getting into, oh, we're doing just three sets of three of bench and you're gonna see how much you're actually gonna be able to lift. And yeah, you shouldn't do this often, but you should do it. So any guy who wants to go to the gym and see how much they can lift, please, before you do that, make sure that we're already in this stuff. We're not going straight here. We can't go straight here because we don't have a big understanding of how this all works and your muscles really need to learn and really need that time to build and grow. So we can't just jump right into, oh, let me see if I can throw 200 pounds on the bench even though I've never done it before and let's see if I can do it. That's not the case. That's not gonna work well for your muscles and you're probably gonna get injured. So let's not start there. Let's build our workout up from the bottom up. I just want everybody to realize that. And when we're going through these workouts, we have to remember that intention is a big thing. So what I mean by that is, let's say that we're saying we're gonna, oh, I'm gonna work in the um, six to 10 rep range, and we're doing set to eight, and you're doing set to eight, and you get to eight, and yeah, it burned a little bit, but you could have still went on and did 12 reps. Well, then you're not working in the eight rep range, you're just doing lighter weight than you need to. You're really working in the 12 rep range. So we need to use the weight that is needed for each exercise. We need to produce, push our bodies to the limit. And we also need to make sure we're doing the right intent. So if we're doing six to 10 reps, and that's our intention is to have both a mix of hypertrophy for our muscles and strength, we need to make sure that we're, when we're in this six to 10 rep range, that we're lifting as much as possible, that we're doing it till our bodies are basically fatiguing and to failure. We wanna be able to produce the most stimulus for our muscles and remember though, we are still in control of the weight we're lifting. Well, I hope everyone has a great understanding on what rep range works for you. Remember, very, very important that we have to ask the question, what is your goal and what is your intention, okay? What is your intention? Do you want to tone up and get that vascularity? Are you looking for the most optimal muscle growth? Are you looking to get the best of both worlds between optimal muscle growth and as much strength as you can possibly lift? Or are we just looking for that one rep max? Where are we at? Let me know in the comments below. Tell me your intention. I'd love to know. And I'd love to help you out on your journey to success and your fitness goals. My name is Ronnie Petito with Petito's Performance Training. You can visit us at our location at 4523 Del Prado Boulevard. Our website is pptcfitness.com, and you can also contact us at 239-470-0338. I really hope everyone enjoyed the video, and until next time. Wait, don't we need them to subscribe? Yes, subscribe now. We need everybody to subscribe to the channel. Everybody who's watching us, just do it. It's not that hard. Just click the link. It's right under the video. Body by Ronnie. Help me out, guys. I'm